Hey guys, uh, here we are again on another hike. Uh, what we're doing is we're following this old logging road up through this little canyon. And I kind of been wanting to see where it goes. And uh, it's real far back. It's about a half a mile from the road. No, more like a mile from the road. And I've almost walked a half a mile, so I'm halfway there. But it's got a real pretty stream on it and flows through it. On this road, you have to cross the stream about, uh, about six or seven times. I'm already good and wet. So uh, I hope you enjoy this hike. Alrighty, guys. We're at the first find of the hike. A real beautiful, beautiful waterfall. And uh, probably what I'm going to do when I leave here is I'm going to go up this waterfall, up the other side, and then straight back. I'm not going to go down the same way I came. So let's go look at this beautiful waterfall. Alrighty, this is really pretty here. Let's see if I can get my camera ready. Here we go. Oh my lord, look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, that's absolutely stunning. Look at that. You don't get no better now right there. How beautiful. This is where it flows down. I'll just check out that rock right there before I leave. But look at this. Five, four, three, two, one. Just look at this. This is beautiful. See if we can go up here and look at it closer. I guess this is where I will start exploring at. Uh, I want to see further where that goes, but I also want to see what all this looks like. So, we're going to cut right over there to see that little bluff over there. Looks like there's a hole in it. Check it out. And we'll go over to these bluffs and see if there's anything up there. If there's not, we'll hit the road back. Okay, guys. I'm really excited, and the reason I'm really excited is, well, number one, find a really pretty waterfall. Number two, find a lot more bluffs up through here. Now the topo maps, they don't show any bluffs. But a lot of times topo maps can be wrong. Usually when the lines are together, it usually shows a cliff or something. But where we're right here is a little bluff and we're going to go and explore it. And it always excites me to find new stuff like this because hopefully you're the only one that's ever been there or anything else. So let's go look at it together. 
I'm gonna go right up here. And actually, we're going north right now. So let's go. As you can tell, I'm breathing hard here. You can see it. It's right up through there. And as you can see, there's a big old crack right there. And actually, there's a little game trail up here. So I know there's game up there here. Let me get you a good view of this. Just a little bitty bluff. I love bluffs. I love rocks. You should get a good view of it. Isn't that beautiful? And right down here is the stream. And of course you can hear the waterfall right over here. Here it is right here. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. This is really neat. Actually, looks like it's a little cave. goes to the other side. It's a nice little shelter. Now, every time I come to a place like this, I think, oh wow, no one has ever found it. And I always get disappointed. Right, there's a water bottle, bottle somewhere left. And as you can see, it's still a pretty good area. Real nice shelter right there here and everything. I'm marking on the GPS anyway. I'll bring somebody else back here. Let's go over here and look. Big old pine tree. Look what I just walked under though. See that rock right there? I'm glad I didn't decide to fall. Yeah, there should be an opening right up here. Let's stop it just a while ago. And here it is. Here's the opening to it right here. And it goes through, comes out. I don't know how far back it goes. <coughs> Looks like it. You put the camera down in there. Looks like this is it. And just a second, we'll take the camera off. Stick it down in there. I'm gonna put the camera down in there so you can kind of look around in it with me. And uh, actually, it's a nice little shelter. Alrighty, guys, we're at, the, we're at the left side of this bluff, and as you can see, up here it goes. A real pretty feature too is it goes right along this bluff right through here, and then there is the waterfall. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk up through here. I'm going to go right up through here and try not to fall. This right here would not be a good fall. Make sure I grab a hold of this rock. Go around. As you can see, it's a pretty little steep drop. I think we can 
think we can do it. I don't know if you can hear that, but listen. It's hollow right there. there. You just sit down right here. This is a... Just sit down and just rest a little bit. This is actually pretty steep. So I don't wanna... What I may do is try to get on top of this little bluff right here and then go across it like that. As you can see, it's really st steep. And if I fall, I'm gonna fall right down there in the waterfall. And I don't wanna have to do that. I don't wanna fall. So, here's what the view looks like going down. Right here. Here's where I just came. And here's where I'm just gonna go again. Reach up here and grab this rock. Hold on. Sorry about the camera work. I'm just having to climb and hold the camera. This is where we came from, right there here. And uh, I want to go up here and check out this little part right here, this little hole. May not be anything up there, but we'll see. You get me a good little hold. <gasps> All right, guys. This is enough climbing for today, and let me let me show you why. Okay, I want you to look right there, real close, and thank God that it is cold weather. You see that? See that snake right there? I don't know if you can see it. He's right there. It looks like a, it looks like a rattlesnake or something right there. Well, that's enough climbing for today. Uh, if it had been a little hotter, that joker would have probably got me. Now I gotta figure out how to get down from this without disturbing Mr. No Legs there. Alrighty. That totally freaks me out totally freaks me out. I hate snakes. Alrighty. Let's figure out how we're gonna get down. Say goodbye to Mr. No Shoulders. I hate stinking snakes. Now I gotta figure out how to get down without killing myself. There we go. I want to get down quick. I do not want to be around freaking snakes. And I hate snakes. As you can see in a while, while we go, I nearly stepped on, nearly grabbed that stinking big old snake. Luckily they're a copperhead or a rattlesnake. I don't know what it was. It was a big snake. I hate snakes. I cannot stand snakes. I know they serve their purpose, but oh my god. So, lessons that we've learned today. Watch where you put your feet. Watch where you put your hand. 
don't take chances. I always like to tell people don't be stupid in the woods, and today I was stupid in the woods because I just wasn't paying attention. I was so intent on getting a shot and exploring something that I nearly got snake bit. So let this be a lesson to you. When you're in the woods, be careful. Remember, anything can happen. Mr. Murphy can show up at any time, any place, anywhere. So I'm going to hike back out. Uh, probably take some more pictures of the stream. And this will end this installment of No Turning Back today. It was fun. Hope you enjoyed finding the beautiful waterfall and the rocks. And we'll see you next time. Be safe.